Hey VIPs, welcome to a very special episode of Party Pooper. This week we're discussing the genetics of Crohn's and colitis. This is my family and we all have some form of inflammatory bowel disease. And this is what we call the genetic umbrella. Hey, it's bad luck to open umbrella inside. Right. This is what we call the unlucky genetic umbrella. This is my aunt, this is my brother, and this is my mom. Mom, do you want to start? I have ulcerative colitis and I was actually diagnosed this past June. How old were you when you were diagnosed? Are you comfortable I'm, sharing that? I was 56. And this is my brother Scott. And Scott, how old were you when you were diagnosed with ulcerative colitis? 12. Scott was 12. Uh, and Scott has actually had um, an ileostomy. Yes, he's had his bowel removed. So Scott has had his large intestine removed. And Auntie Candice? What's your story? I have Crohn's disease and I was diagnosed at 23. And as most of you already know, I have ulcerative colitis and I was diagnosed at age 27. The reason I wanted to talk about this, there is an article floating around the internet saying that doctors and professors have found the cause of Crohn's and colitis, which they say are environmental causes. Clearly this is a genetic situation for us. So you two being siblings, Yes. You were in completely different environments when you were diagnosed, correct? Yes. Correct. Correct. And then my brother and I, also in completely different environments, he was in Alberta, I was in Toronto. Both of you were in Victoria though, right? Yes. yes. But separate households, obviously, because yes. it was like 20 years apart, right? Yes. So I would say that environmental causes were probably not the case for us. We're actually all on different medications for our disease. Mom, do you want to go first? Sure, I take uh, 5 ASA and I take Pantoflock, plus I am also on methotrexate and uh, being on methotrexate I have to take folic acid and I take iron pills as well. Because Scott has had the surgery, he's technically cured because he... That's right. He now has a bag, <coughs> not the J bag. No. He has the bag on the outside which is permanent. Yes. And how old was he when he had that removed? He had his uh, large intestine removed when he was 18 and then his rectum removed when he was 19. But he had the ileostomy at 18. Scott isn't on any medications for uh, colitis anymore since he's had the surgery. Because they say the only cure is the surgery for ulcerative colitis. That's and right. now you have Crohn's disease, so what are you on for medications? I take um, Humira once a week and I take Pantalock and I do TPM at home um, two to four days a week and I've had two surgeries and I've had no surgeries and I am on Remicade I was <coughs> once on prednisone but that did not work I think has we everyone all, here been on prednisone? We've all been on prednisone. Yeah. <laughs> prednisone. <laughs> Good old prednisone. I'm technically in a remission Scott it would be in remission, but mom, you're not. No. And in Kansas, you're no. not. And you've never been in a remission? Never been. Does anybody else have anything they want to say about their illness? Oh, my dad's waving because he has diverticulitis. He's <laughs> <laughs> not in the video. He wants to be in the video. Come on down, dad. Let's see you, dad. Let's this see is my video. dad. <laughs> and it just so happens that he has diverticulitis. Thank you for feeling for me. Oh, <laughs> We are a family of shitty bowels. But we're a happy family. Yes. We are a happy family. We all make the best of it. Yes. We love poop jokes. We do. We yeah. all love poop jokes. Do we like poop jokes, Scott? No. no. <laughs> Scott doesn't like poop jokes. All right, so there you have it. Um, the genetic umbrella of Crohn's and colitis. Obviously, our family was hit with it pretty hard, but we're in good spirits. Tell us your story if you have family members that suffer from Crohn's and colitis as well down in the comments below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching. Bye, the Ipoos. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. See you. Yeah. Yeah. How about those blue jays, Scott? Good day! Yeah! Metamucil smooth. That is my breakfast every morning before I leave my house. I have a glass of Metamucil. Do you poop at home before you go to work? Like, do you eat breakfast? I poop things? primarily at work. How many times a day do you poop at work? Uh, usually once. Definitely once.